Marco Grob is an Emmy Award winning portrait photographer. Born in Switzerland, he moved to New York in 2008. His elegant yet modern portraiture has appeared in such magazines as Time, National Geographic, Interview, Esquire and GQ, making him one of the most sought after photographers in the world. For the last three years, he has devoted his time to the United Nations Mine Action Service, raising awareness for their demining programs around the world. I always consider myself to be a political person with a profound interest in history. I used to believe that I understood the gravity and complexity of the problem caused by landmines and unexploded ordinances. In the last three years, however, working for the United Nations Mine Action Service in Afghanistan Cambodia and now in South Sudan, I came to the conclusion that I had no idea. I had no idea that every day millions of lives around the globe are affected, that in some countries, every well, every mango tree, Every street and every bridge might have been mined. People's ordinary perception that landmines are removed easily by mostly machines is wrong. Demining is labor intensive, often hot, and always dangerous work. It's done by hand, probing the earth inch by inch. Every signal, whether a nail or a piece of metal, must be treated as a mine. In a country with a heat averaging 110 degrees, even something as simple as a source for shadow could have been mined. Unexploded ordinances are another huge problem taken on by the United Nations Mine Action Service. A UXO is basically any bomb which has not yet exploded. That could be a 20 mm explosive cannon shell or a 2 ton air dropped high explosive bomb. In certain countries, the biggest problem is cluster munition, which is air dropped contains 670 tennis ball shaped bombs and when detonated propels some 300 metal fragments. In Laos alone, 270 million of these bombs were dropped and now blanket the entire country. Experts agree that technically the world could be cleared of mines, but it will take time, labor and lots of money. Who could imagine that it costs two dollars to dig in a landmine into the earth and two thousand dollars to take it out
Mr. Ban Ki-moon, Secretary General of the United Nations once said, the world is overarmed and peace is underfunded. And my experiences have demonstrated to me personally that he is very right.